Hi, friends. Welcome to this edition of Art Fits for Kids. My name's Kate. In this episode, we're going to learn about a sculpture called Pathway. You're going to want paper and pencil, so go ahead and pause the video while you grab some. Once you have them, make a sketch of what you see in the photo. Sketching helps us be good observers. Resume the video when you're ready. A sculpture is a type of art that is three-dimensional. When we add the third dimension of depth, it's called form. Since this artwork has form, you can walk around it and look at it from many angles. Now that we've sketched them, let's talk about what we see. What was the first thing you noticed when you saw Pathway? From a distance, it looks taller than the building. When you see it, you know right away you are at the Dayton Art Institute. It's a landmark and a popular place for meeting friends and taking photos. With this sculpture, many have wondered, how does it stay standing? Although you can't see it, Pathway is firmly attached to a sturdy base. The base is hidden underground. Think about a time when you've built something tall out of blocks. Was it helpful for your structure to have a strong foundation? Before a sculpture is built, an artist studies the shape he or she wants to make. Sometimes they make a small model called a maquette. This lets the sculptor examine the shape, check its balance, and test materials before making it full size. Did you notice the shiny reflective material used to make pathway? It is a metal called stainless steel. To make a sculpture, small pieces of stainless steel can be melted at a very high temperature and poured into a mold, which is sort of like a container that has the same shape as the finished artwork. The hot metal can also be twisted to make the shape you want. Large sculptures are shaped in several pieces. The pieces are joined or welded together. The sculpture can then be polished to make it smooth, shiny, and reflective like a mirror. What do you notice about the shape of pathway? Does it look like anything to you? Perhaps a walking path through a park? Does it seem realistic? Art that does not look like a real object is called abstract art. What you see and what your friend sees may not be the same, and that's okay. There is no right or wrong. Your views are just different. Many people like abstract art for this very reason. Maybe the sculpture doesn't remind you of a path at all. Maybe it stirs up a feeling for you, like how it feels to take flight. The sculptor, John Safer, had a love for aviation or air travel. He was inspired by the spirit of Dayton's very own inventors, the Wright brothers. Have you heard of them? They invented the airplane. Wouldn't it be fun to see Pathway in person? What do you think you'd see in its reflection? Blue skies and white fluffy clouds? A glimmer of light on a dark cloudy day? As you move around Pathway, the reflections change, like the experiences you have as you journey along a path. You can visit Pathway and other sculptures outside the Dayton Art Institute anytime you'd like. Public sculptures connect us to our history and our community and celebrate our special qualities. If you look not just at the Dayton Art Institute, but in other places around town, I'm sure you can find more public artwork designed to bring us together. Thank you for joining me. We hope you will visit the museum soon.